Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 5. Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 5. Isaiah 35 and verse 5. We're going to ask Brother Dylan. Isaiah 25 and verse 5. You, if you have it, say amen. Go and read. Then the eyes of the blind shall be open. And the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. The eyes of the blind shall be open and the ears of the deaf can be unstopped. Yes, what Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 7. Isaiah 42 and verse 7. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 7. And to open the blind eyes. To bring out the prisoners out of the prisoners. So when your eyes is open, you come out of prison. When your eyes is open, you come out of everything that has holy prison, holy hostage. You come out of it. Amen. This is why the eyes, the eyes have to be open in order to come out. Amen. Read. Uh huh. You have. And the dead that sit in darkness out of the prison. That means there's people that are sitting in darkness that need to come out. And it's going to be, it's going to be the, the word of God, which is light, that is going to bring them out of darkness and out of prison. Hallelujah. Overcoming darkness with light. Overcoming darkness with light. Yes, go to the book of Matthew 4 and verse 10. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. Overcoming darkness with light. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 10. If you have it, say amen. Then said Jesus unto him. Then said Jesus unto him. Uh-huh. 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 Hallelujah. See, it, it is with light that you will be able to rebuke the devil. It's by the light, which is the word of God, that gives you the power to rebuke the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the devil is darkness. And it's going to take the light of the word, the word of God, that amen. Hallelujah. That, that, that destroy the works of the enemies, the light of the word of God that gives you the victory over darkness, that cause you to overcome darkness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's the light of the word of God that will cause you to overcome darkness. Because the strength of darkness is the action of light. And the presence of light, over the appearance of light, is what causes darkness to be deleted. Because the Bible says the light, he shined the light. Even he shined it in darkness. And darkness comprehended it not. Because the power of the word of God. He will overcome every darkness. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1. The Bible says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was worried. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. When the spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the water. And God said let there be light. God himself deal with darkness. And how he did with darkness. He speak light into existence. The word of God is light. Oh God it was deep it says, oh God, that the word of God is the, is the lamp unto his feet and the light unto his father. The word of God also declare, the entrance of thy word, it keep it. The entrance of thy word, it give it what? Life. And it give it understanding unto the simple. So the word of God is light. Amen. That's why the Bible says, glory be to God, that they who follow me, Jesus said in John 8, he says, as long as I am the world, I am the light of this world. And 
they that follow me shall not walk in darkness, but they shall have the light of life. Uh, oh God, this light also, not only did it light you, but it give you life. Uh, because the light is the word of God, and the word of God is God. In the beginning was God, and God will live in. In the beginning was God, and all things was made by him. Uh, glory be to God. That means in him is light. Uh, hallelujah, glory be to God. That's why Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 6, uh, God who commanded the light to shine uh, out of darkness of shining in our heart. Uh, it gives us the knowledge and the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Uh, it is the light, it was just the word of God that brings the liberates. Uh, the liberates comes with man. Uh, it comes by the power of the word of God because it's going to take the word of God and bring transformation uh, in the mind of the people. Uh, oh God, yes, sir. Uh, Amen. We can't change except we have been influenced by the word. It's the word of God that brings the change in our life. It's the word of God that will help us to walk in light and not walk in darkness. It's the word of God that gives us the wind and power. Oh God, and rulership everything over everything that God, oh God, has, amen, has given us the grace to rule over. It is the word of God that keeps us alive. Hallelujah. That's why the devil doesn't want your eyes of your understanding to be enlightened because when you feel light means to be filled with light the word light in light means to be filled with light and if you're going to be filled with light that means you got to be filled with the word because it's the word that is the light hallelujah when the word enters in you it lights up the heart it increases you in knowledge wisdom and understanding when the word of God when enters in you it gives you confidence it gives you the capability to run to truth and leap over water. When the word of God goes in you, uh, oh God, you can stand your ground uh, and you can tell the devil is a liar in spite of what you, what you go with you. Uh, the word of God give you a boldness. Uh, it give you reinsurance to know uh, that the God that you are standing on, uh, the God that is standing on the side of you, uh, he neither sleep nor slumber. Uh, and he says he will watch on his way to perform it. Uh, he says he will never leave you, neither forsake you. Oh God, that's the light of the word. Hallelujah, glory be to God. The word of God is a Greek, it's a two-edged sword. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. And the word of God doesn't chop, it pays. That means it breaks your rock. Yes, sir, it breaks your hard things. It breaks the liverance. It will break you out of prison. Come on, somebody give Jesus a praise. Yes, sir, the word of God. Hallelujah, that's why it seems to God we cannot live without light. We gotta be filled with light. If you wanna know what is the plan and purpose for your life, it's gonna be light. Because Paul prayed for the church in Ephesus. He didn't pray for a car. He didn't pray for a house. He didn't even really pray for marriage. But he prayed. Paul says, Well, amen. After I heard with your love for God and love for the saints, I cease not I'm giving thanks. Well, God, mention your name in prayer. Hallelujah. That the call of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom. Oh, revelation in the knowledge of Him. That the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened. That you will prove, that you will know what is the hope of your calling and what is the richness of the inheritance that is in the saints. So, light lets you know that God called you. Light lets you know that the purpose of God is on your life. Light lets you know in spite of what you're going to, I'm still, God is still with me. It is God that called me and delivered me out of darkness and translated me in the marvelous kingdom of his dear son. Oh God, my God. And when your eyes open, it brings faith. Because the Bible says, we understand that the word of this world was free by the word of God. Hallelujah. That everything that we can see now came out of a realm that we couldn't see. 
That is the walk in the light. You start speaking things into existence. When you walk in the light, you make a decision. Father Jesus, when you walk in the light, you are not an evil one. Can't move you. Because the Bible said, Glory be to God. The Bible says, God be for you. Who can be against you? The Bible says, You are more than a conqueror. To him that strengthens you. The Bible says, You can do all things. To Christ that strengthens you. The Bible says, Glory be to God. That God has given you power. That after the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall receive from us. You shall receive dynamite. You will have some explosion power. Power to change. Power to break the love. When you stand upon the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Overcome in darkness. Will you like? Come on, somebody. You call it. Based on what you see. But the Bible says, speak in those things. That be not. As to the world. Come on, somebody. The power of light. Come on, somebody. The light shine. In darkness. And darkness. Comprehend it not. Come on, somebody. Jesus said, he's the light of the world. Come on, somebody. And if that same light is in you, that means you are filled with light. And no darkness can fellowship with light. Come on, somebody. That's why the devil can't hide when you are full of light. We are called Almighty. Church of God. We talk about the gift of discernment. But the gift of discernment only operate by light. It gotta be a level of understanding that you must have in order to walk in the spirit of discernment. Because you compare it spiritual deeds with spiritual deeds. So it's not that you're willing to go on. Give me some darkness. Come on, somebody. And give Jesus Christ the praise. Come on, give God the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overcoming darkness by light. With light we overcome darkness. Come on, somebody. Yes, we're going to look chapter 44. Chapter 24 and verse 47. Luke chapter 24 and verse 47. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You will walk in the light as he is in the light. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And it will be impossible for the enemy to overcome those who dwell in the light. Those who live in the light. Those who understand it has been filled with light. Come on, if you have it, say amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. As if you have it, say amen. Glory be to God. Walking by God, Jesus. We give you praise and glory. Oh, we give you praise and glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 24, verse, verse 47. Go and read. Uh huh. Uh huh. My God, you see the word of God is light. The only way this is why they, amen, is the preaching of the word of God that brings up all the prisoner of darkness and bring them into light. It's the preaching of the word of God that breaks the liberates that set the captive free. It's the preaching of the word of God that restores sight to the blind. It's the preaching of the word of God which is light. And when this light enter in you, come on, somebody, it will cause you, it will cause you to be able, you will have the capability to stand on God's word and say, Oh, he slay me, but yet will I trust him. When this light get in you, the understanding will become fruitful. That when you see a dark situation, you start speaking light in that condition. Come on, somebody, give God the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Begin to exalt the 
glory and magnify the glory in me of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody, and give God praise and glory. I know the devil called you at you when you was in darkness. The devil was over kill you when you was in darkness. He tried many things to kill you. But oh God, here comes the grace of God. The hands of God was on your life. But the Bible says, who God did for you, then he also did call. And who God called, then he also did justify. And who God justified, then he also glorified. Oh God, that's why. That's why you are here tonight. It's by the divine power and grace of God. Hallelujah, that cover you. By God, that deliver you from the power of darkness and bring you into the power of light. Somebody can God praise the glory. Yes, for the Jesus for the John chapter one and verse five. John chapter one and verse five. Oh, what are we talking about the light? Oh, God, I'm a shot. Overcoming darkness with light. Overcoming darkness with light. How do we overcome darkness? with light. Darkness is anything, is sin. Anything that comes along with the devil is darkness. Hallelujah. Anything that is trying to sabotage your destiny is darkness. Anything that is trying to frustrate you is darkness. Anything that is trying to torment your mind is darkness. And how do you overcome darkness with light? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When the devil try to break fear, you got to stand on the light of the word of God. That's a God is not giving on me the spirit of fear. But of a power of love and a sound mind. Go, go. I will not maintain, I will not. Oh God, I will not allow fear. Oh God, to keep the best of me. I will not allow fear to keep control of my mind. Because the light of the word. Amen. If you want to say amen. Go and read. And the light shined it in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Dark. The light shined in darkness. Hallelujah. So the good man to overcome darkness with light. Many times you speak the light, you overcome darkness. Hallelujah. Any time you stand on the word of God, you overcome darkness. Any time you preach the word of God, you overcome darkness. Come on, somebody. It's the word of God that have power to overcome darkness. Hallelujah. I say it's the word of God that have power to overcome darkness. We overcome darkness with light. Hallelujah. Come on, Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Oh God, this is the power. My God, this is the power of God. My God, the power of God. Last week, amen, amen. We do amen. Last week, we, amen. The topic was demonstrate the power of God. Oh God, in the night, glory be to God. We are going to demonstrate the power of God again. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so we're going to demonstrate the power. Under one covenant in one spirit in agreement. Oh God, we can expect a happy revival. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. We can have revival. Glory be to God. If I don't know how to do it one particular day, if I will have to do when the people come together and get ready to repent. And oh God, and ask God to restore their life back. To revive them. Glory be to God. We have revival tonight. Come on, somebody. Glory be to God. We have revival tonight. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I bring Jesus with me. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Say, I bring Jesus with me. That means, amen, I don't need your fire. I got my own fire. Yes, sir, I brought my own fire with me. But if we and you mix our fire together, we will have a Holy Ghost fire. Amen. Release your fire and I release my fire. Oh God, we can have a Holy Ghost Amen. in this house tonight. Hallelujah. My God, we can paralyze the enemy. We can cause the enemy to be dysfunctional. We can scatter demons when we come together on the one Lord ship in the mighty name of Jesus for one purpose, for one assignment. Oh God, we can experience my God, a mighty move of God. He always in one accord in one 
place. Oh God, we got the right one, one mind. Oh God, the same mind. With the same mind, we will experience. My God, a pure Muslim power will experience my God. The power of God begins the will, begin to manifest himself in you. I'm telling you, no, he's going to manifest tonight. Oh God, yes, sir. I said, the power of God will manifest in this house. Tonight, we're gonna go to the house. I don't know about you. I came here with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, sir. I came here excited. I came here, my God. My heart is ready to receive from God. Hallelujah. I'm ready to receive from God. And I, my God, I ain't get what God has for me tonight. Ah, oh, yes, sir. I'm going to get what I look God has prepared for me tonight. I'm going home. Uh, the scene where I came in. Well, God, I'm going to get something. I'm going to receive something from the Lord tonight. Because you have to believe that God has something prepared for you tonight. You have to believe that God has something prepared for us tonight. And I will receive it tonight. Well, God, yes, sir. Uh, oh God, I want you. Uh, I want you to look at the neighbor. Uh, that's a neighbor. Uh, could you bring fire with you? Oh God, yes, sir. Uh, I said, could you bring the Holy Ghost fire with you? Uh, uh, we don't need you to leave it outside. Uh, we need you to work in here. Uh, we got some folks in here. Uh, Lord God is going to take the fire God to bring deliverance. Uh, it's going to take the power God to bring the transformation in the mind. Uh, we have strong words in here. Uh, we have folks wrestling uh, with strong desire in here. Uh, and God, if you will show up, uh, you will not be delivered. Uh, it's going to the power of the word of God. Uh, Working to a vessel uh, to bring deliverance uh, not to the people uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll call some of you already here tonight. Uh, you're wrestling with great precision. Uh, we'll go out seeing a wicked devil uh, trying to blow with your mind. Uh, oh, God, I'm going to pull you out. Uh, oh, God, uh, by doing it all kinds of power. Uh, yes, I see it. Uh, I see it. Yes, I see you that I come against it right now. I come against it right now. He's a demon. He's a demon. Come on, somebody. He's a demon. Anything that wants you to be addicted to anything. He's a demon. He's a demon. Anything that wants you to be entangled. Anything that is wrong is a demon. We'll call up our shadow. The God has given you no grace in you. Call up our shadow. God told me to tell you, if you know, if you are in this house tonight, God want me to tell you, let's shout Jesus, 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 and sit down. Let me get this shout. They shout Jesus three times and they sit down. If you know that I'm talking to you, I want to stand on your feet and shout Jesus three times. Thank you. 